Hi children, good morning. Take page number 77. It is your EBS part. Unit 5, lesson number 10. Our material heritage. Our material heritage. So this is uh, the unit uh, 5 and lesson number 10. Our material heritage. So here children, heritage. Heritage is nothing but if you observe so many monuments are there so many uh, architectures are there okay now we have a history of uh, our india okay even our uh, state also have a history of so many monuments and architectures now in this lesson we are going to learn about our material heritage let's warm up time to warm up material heritage what is that children material heritage material heritage includes all historical things that exist in physical form even today so material heritage includes all historical things so what are the historical things for example children have you ever visited to Golconda that is a historical place museum historical place Salarjang museum historical place Mysore palace historical place and uh, Taj Mahal one of the seven wonders it's a historical place so here material heritage includes all historical things that exist in physical form even today. The things that can be seen and touched and have historical importance are part of our material heritage. So the things that can be seen which we see which we touch and have historical importance the things which we see which we touch okay how historical importance are part of our material heritage you already know that monuments what are the children monuments you already know about the monuments sculptures you already know about the monuments sculptures Paintings, so you already know about the monuments, sculptures, paintings, artifacts, okay, so here this is artifacts, books, next one is weapons, and tools monuments sculptures paintings artifacts books weapons and tools inform us about our history so how do you know about the past by referring the books by artifacts with the help of the arts monuments sculptures you can see so many uh, statues and so many sculptures also even with the help of paintings also and the weapons all these are available in the museum children about uh, the kingdoms of different uh, kings so here in this chapter you will learn about monument sculpture paintings that form a part of our invaluable material heritage so material heritage is nothing but the things which you can see and touch or even today in this lesson we are going to learn about three things one is monuments sculptures and paintings of our past okay children so far we have seen the monuments sculptures and paintings yes they reflect our uh, culture and uh, tradition and now let's see the first one architecture first one is uh, architecture
Indian architecture has been shaped by different cultures. Indian architecture has been shaped by different cultures. Different cultures, religions. Religions, civilizations, so we have different religions like Hindu, Muslim, Buddha, Christian. So here the statement is Indian architecture has been shaped by different cultures. So based on the religions, the architecture is there. Based on the cultures, the architecture is there. Based on the civilization, like Indus Valley civilization, later Vedic, Vedic civilization, like that. It depends upon the civilizations that are flourished here in the past. It has also been influenced by cultures from far off places in the world. So if you observe the, in the world, so many places are there. So in India, here see, from the past, so many civilizations uh, were existing. Okay. So that is why we can see a great variety in structures, designs and purposes of different monuments. So we have seen different structures, different designs and purposes of different monuments since ancient times. Ancient times means old times. Now let us see once again. Indian architecture has been shaped by different cultures. So based on the cultures, the architectures has been shaped based on religions, based on civilizations. It has been influenced by cultures from far away places. So here it has been influenced from far away places in the world. That is why we can see a great variety in structures. You can see great variety in structures, great variety in designs and purpose of different monuments since old times or ancient times. Okay. Children, have you ever visited our one of the seven wonders in the world? What is that children? Taj Mahal. It's a beautiful architecture. Okay. It's a beautiful monument and it is one of the, it is considered as one of the seven wonders. So here Taj Mahal is named as World Heritage Site by UNESCO. So this is a site children. World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Okay. So here Taj Mahal means Crown Palace. Taj Mahal means what children? Crown Palace. Taj Mahal means it's a Crown Palace. It is located on the banks of the river Yamuna in Agra. Where is the Taj Mahal located children? It is located in the banks of the river Yamuna in which place? Agra is located in Delhi. Our capital. Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world, was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. So it is one of the it is one of the seven wonders. It is one of the seven wonders. So here it is one of the seven wonders in the world, and it is uh, here see was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. It is built by Mughal Emperor. Yes, this is Shah Jahan. Who built Taj Mahal children? Yes, Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal. In which place it is there? Agra. What is the meaning of here? Taj Mahal? Crown Palace. What is that? Crown Palace. It is one of the seven wonders. And here? Uh, who built this? Shah Jahan in fond memory. So it is uh, built uh, okay, for his love, for his uh, love and wife Muntaj. What is her name? Muntaj. In the memory of Muntaj Mahal. So her name is Muntaj Mahal. So he named that is as Taj Mahal. Okay, in the memory of Muntaj, he built the Taj Mahal. It is considered as one of the seven wonders of the world by UNESCO. Named this Taj Mahal as Crown Palace. 
it is located near the bank of the river Yamuna and it is in which place children Agra so here it was built in it was built in here see in the 17th century in which seventh, which century children it is built in 17th century the Taj Mahal was built and the large white marble tomb the large white marble tomb and the dome are the main attractions of the Taj. If you see children the Taj, so here the white marbles are there. The white marbles are there and there is a dome also. Okay, that is that attracts the people and attracts many. It's a tourism place also children. Okay, uh, if you won't visit also, please go to Taj Mahal once and visit with your parents. The large white marbles tomb and the dome are the main attractions of the Taj it has four minarets at the four corners four minarets are there children how many minarets four minarets are there in the four corners okay how many four minarets first minaret second minaret third minaret and fourth minaret four minarets are there in the four corners so what are the features what are the speciality of this Taj Mahal it has a dome white marbles and next one for minarets and white marble and semi precious stones have been used it so what is the main specialty of that white marbles okay white marbles and precious stones are used in it white marbles and precious precious means very valuable precious stones are used to build this Taj Mahal more than a thousand artisans and craftsmen worked on it see children the person who artists and craftsmen also worked on it more than 1000 passage from the muslim holy book the quran have been written on the walls of the taj mahal these are called as the surah what is surah children so in the muslim holy book what is the holy book of hindus bhagavad gita what is the holy book of christians bible what is the holy book of muslims quran what is that quran Passage from the Muslim holy book, the Quran, have been written on the walls of the Taj Mahal. So, it is also written on the walls of the Taj Mahal. The passage from the Quran written on the walls of the Taj Mahal. That is called Surah. What is that? Surah. So, once again, you see here, Taj Mahal is one of the beautiful architectures. Okay. Named as World Heritage Site by UNESCO. What is the meaning of the Taj Mahal? Crown Palace. Where it is located? Yes, it is located in the river, banks of the river Yamuna in in Agra. Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world. Who built that? Mughal Emperor. He is a, is a Shah Jahan. Belongs to Mughal Kingdom. And for his wife, beloved wife, okay, in the name of his wife, for his love, Muntaj Mahal, he built that. It was built in 17th century. What are the specialty of this Taj Mahal? The Taj Mahal was made with, it is made with white marbles and precious stones and there is a dome which which gives the attraction to the people so many people will visit that it attracts so many tourism tourist people also it is a best world's best tourist place in India it's the number one also okay and here it has four minarets at the four corners white marbles and semi precious stones have been used in it and more than a thousand artisans and craftsmen are worked on it. One more important thing children. If you see on the walls of the Taj Mahal, there is a passage which I have taken from the book Quran, which is called Surah. What is that? Surah. Okay. Children now see, you have seen about the greatness of Taj Mahal. It is Nalanda University. What is that children? Nalanda University. It is also one of the best uh, okay, monuments, uh, I mean best architecture is designed here. Here see, Nalanda University was built about 1500 years ago. When children? 1500 years ago. See how much great it was. 
of over 1500 years still it is there it is an ancient center for learning located near patna bihar where it is located children it is located near patna which is uh, okay the capital of bihar this uh, here see residential university later become a flourishing center for buddhist learning so here it has become a flourishing okay it has become a flourishing center flourishing center for flourishing center for buddhist learning Buddhist learning. So once again you see, Nalanda University was uh, built around 1500 years ago. It is an ancient center for learning. Okay, located near which uh, place? Patna, that is the capital of Bihar. This residential university later become a flourishing center for Buddhist learning. It is used to attract students. It is used to attract students and students and philosophers students and philosophers yes it is a, a place it is used to attract students and philosophers from all over the world if you see all over the world okay those people will uh, okay stay come here and they learn also and here see it has a huge library called mountain of truth what is that children huge library which is called mountain of truth what you will do in library children you will learn so many things uh, from the books so here it stores thousands of books on astronomy mathematics and philosophy astronomy about the space science okay next one is mathematics and uh, philosophy astronomy mathematics and uh, next one is uh, philosophy so here this library has uh, so many thousands of uh, books okay there's huge library that is called as mountain of truth and it stores thousands of books on astronomy mathematics and philosophy the buddhist monasteries are uh, built like a row of small rooms around the courtyard so if there is a courtyard children the buddhist small small uh, okay the buddhist monasteries are also built the buddhist monasteries are also so built in the courtyard in a row the monasteries are towards the east and temple is towards the west so that is monasteries all towards the east and the temple is towards the west so this is about the greatness of nalanda university once again i repeat for the second time see here nalanda university was built around how many years children 1500 years ago it is an ancient center for learning located so so many people will go there and they learn also this residential university okay later become a flourishing center for buddhist learning all the teachings of buddha okay are going to learn there it is used to attract it used to attract students and philosophers from all over the world see how much great all over the world means all the people from different countries will come here and visit that place see how much great it is it has a huge library what is that library mountain of truth and it has a low many thousands of books on astronomy mathematics and uh, philosophy the buddhist monasteries are present on one side in a row and the temple on other side in the courtyard the buddhist monasteries are present okay so this is about the uh, greatness of nalanda okay university children so far we have seen the greatness of uh, one is taj mahal second one is nalanda university now let us see about the konark temple the sun temple at konark yes the sun temple 
what is this children the sun temple at uh, konark the sun temple at uh, konark in orissa is a beautiful stone temple konark in orissa the sun temple at konark in orissa is a beautiful stone temple so here the sun temple at konark in orissa children it is a estate okay and it is a beautiful stone temple and here you can see it's a good here see the sun temple at konark in odisha is a beautiful stone temple built in the form of a, a chariot of the sun see children see it is a sun so here you can you can't find sun temple anywhere children it is a special temple you can find only in orissa okay it is in the form of a chariot see the sun is there the sun is present on the chariot okay it is a made up of it is made up of sandstone and has 12 pairs of wheels sandstone 12 pairs of wheels seven horses sandstone 12 pairs of wheels and seven horses the spokes of the wheels are carved as sun dials see the children the spokes will be present okay see these are called as the spokes these are called these lines are called as the spokes so these are like sun dial these are like sun dials carved as like sun dials and can tell the time of the day so these uh, so here these wheels are carved like sandals they what is the importance they tell the time of the day two giant lions guard the entrance gate two giant lions are these see children they are at the entrance of the gate so once again see the greatness of the konark temple the sun temple at konark in odisha is a beautiful stone temple built in the form of a chariot of the sun and here sun god it is made up of sandstone 12 pairs of wheels will be there children and seven horses so the sun will be on the top and the seven horses and the chariot and the wheels the wheels are special children these are carved like sun dials it tells about the time of the day and two giant lions uh, got the entrance gate okay